Hello. Our story today is called Possum Magic by Mem Fox. Once upon a time, but not very long ago, deep in the Australian bush lived two possums. Their names were Hush and Grandma Poss. Grandma Poss made bush magic. She made wombats blue and kookaburras pink. She made dingoes smile and emus shrink, but the best magic of all was the magic that made Hush invisible. What adventures Hush had? Because she couldn't be seen, she could be squashed by koalas. Because she couldn't be seen, she could slide down kangaroos. Because she couldn't be seen, she was safe from snakes, which is why Grandma Poss had made her invisible in the first place. But one day, quite unexpectedly, Hush said, Grandma, I want to know what I look like again. Please, could you make me visible again? Of course I can, said Grandma Poss, and she began to look through her magic books. She looked into this book and she looked into that. There was magic for thin and magic for fat, magic for tall and magic for small, but the magic she was looking for wasn't there at all. Grandma Poss looked miserable. Don't worry, Grandma, said Hush, I don't mind. But in her heart of hearts, she did. All night long, Grandma Poss thought and thought. The next morning, just before breakfast, she shouted, it's something to do with food, people food, not possum food, but I can't remember what. We'll just have to try and find it. So later that day, they left the bush where they'd always been to find what it was that would make Hush seen. They ate Anzac biscuits and Adelaide, Mornay and Minties in Melbourne, steak and salad in Sydney, and pumpkin scones in Brisbane. Hush remained invisible. Don't lose heart, said Grandma Poss. Let's see what we can find in Darwin. It was there in the far north of Australia that they found a Vegemite sandwich. Grandma Poss crossed her claws and crossed her feet. Hush breathed deeply and began to eat. A tail, a tail, shouted both possums at once, for there it was, a brand new visible tail. Later on a beach in Perth, they ate a piece of pavlova. Hush's legs appeared, so did her body. You look wonderful, you precious possum, said Grandma Poss. Next stop, Tasmania, and over the sea they went. In Hobart late one night in the kitchens of the casino, they saw a lamington on a plate. Hush closed her eyes and nibbled. Grandma Poss held her breath and waited. It's worked, it's worked, she cried. And she was right, Hush could be seen from head to tail. Grandma Poss hugged Hush and they both danced. Here we go round the lamington plate till early in the morning. From that time onward, Hush was visible. But once a year on her birthday, she and Grandma Poss ate a Vegemite sandwich, a piece of pavlova, and half a lamington just to make sure that Hush stayed visible forever. And she did. And that is the end of our story. This month, the theme is healing. And I know that sometimes we all want to be invisible, don't we? Unfortunately, we don't have possum magic to make it happen. But I hope that in times that you feel invisible, that you know that you have somebody to talk to. And that's part of healing, is telling people about our feelings. And if you can't talk to somebody else, please know that I'm here and I miss seeing you all. Please always feel free to talk to me. Thank you. Take care.